Hey everybody, this is Beth Bond with Southeast Green. We're here at the Ancestral Health Symposium and we're with Dominic D'Agostino. He is working with the uh, University of South Florida and the uh, Department of Navy doing some research in diet and their Navy SEALs. Tell us about the work you're doing. Okay. Uh, my work is funded to uh, develop a mitigation strategy for uh, oxygen toxicity. So the Navy SEALs use a closed circuit rebreather and they breathe a high concentration of oxygen when they do their dives. And uh, this can create a situation where the oxygen is a neural stimulant and causes a, a seizure. So I've been funded for the last seven years to develop, uh, to determine the molecular and cellular uh, reason as to why oxygen toxicity exists and also to develop a mitigation strategy to prevent oxygen toxicity in Navy SEAL divers. And I became interested in, uh, in the use of the ketogenic diet to prevent this oxygen toxicity. And I was interested in it because the ketogenic diet is very effective for drug-resistant seizures in, uh, in epilepsy. So when kids uh, are actually put on anti-epileptic drugs and fail to respond to them, uh, an alternative option is the ketogenic diet. And it's very effective in treating drug resistant epilepsy. It has a very high success rate. So it's sort of interesting because you're doing you're using food instead of drugs to sort of solve this issue. This seems sort of sci fi for the Navy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you could say that. That uh, you know the the standard of care as it exists for seizure control is to use an anti epilepsy drug. And, uh, and that's kind of what I was probably most interested in in preventing oxygen toxicity. But, you know, the literature is pretty clear on this that food is, uh, or food given in the form of a ketogenic diet has a stronger anti-seizure effect than, uh, than the anti-epilepsy drugs that are currently in use. And this is known, but it's underappreciated. And there's a, uh, I, think, I think more neurologists should be including this as kind of the first line standard of care for uh, drug resistant seizures, especially in kids, because when kids take an anti seizure drug, you know, that can create developmental problems down, down the road. So obviously, the, the Navy is most interested in the most effective anti seizure strategy that they can give to the warfighter who's breathing high concentrations of oxygen. So, uh, what the research that I've been doing is actually to create a, a a metabolic therapy in the form of a ketone supplement, so a nutritional uh, food supplement that would elevate blood levels of ketone bodies, which are uh, which are a source of energy that the brain can use uh, as an alternative fuel to glucose. And when when you're in a state of therapeutic ketosis, either with a ketogenic diet or with a ketone supplement, the ketone bodies can enhance and preserve brain metabolism, for example, in the face of uh, the oxygen stimulus that the divers would get, breathing high concentrations of oxygen. And it's not really known how the ketogenic diet functions as far as the anti-seizure effects, but uh, changing the metabolism of the brain causes uh, many different uh, effects on brain metabolism, uh, neurotransmitter systems, and brain energy metabolisms that seem to confer an anti-seizure effect. And uh, the most important thing is that we know that therapeutic ketosis or nutritional ketosis has a very strong anti-seizure effect. And we are developing, testing, and screening methods to induce nutritional ketosis for uh, anti-seizure effects, but also we're looking for Alzheimer's disease. I'm not uh, sharing that information uh, at this meeting, but we have uh, projects on Alzheimer's and cancer. Uh, traumatic brain injury is something that uh, I'm interested in studying. Uh, so we have a variety of, of therapies that we're developing for neurological disorders and also cancer. So we have a cancer research that involves nutritional therapies. Cool. Thanks so much.